everyone. Welcome back. I am in my new place. I don't know what to call it. I still don't know what to call it. We call it the loft because it's above my garage. It is um, part playroom, part office, part homeschool room. It's a million things and it is big enough and there is space. And maybe you are noticing if you have watched these videos before, um, there's not heaps and piles behind me. It's, it's a miracle. <laughs> so I'm so excited um, to be filming this very first what I sold this month on eBay video here in this new space. And if you are interested in seeing how this new space came to be and the designing behind it and where I put everything and how I made it all work, I have a video that shows you moving my disaster of my old office, homeschool room, eBay room to this new loft location. And it's a long video. It's very entertaining. <laughs> or maybe it isn't. I don't know. But you can watch it if you like. I will link it here. So what you're about to see is clips of everything that I sold in the month of June. Now I have to be honest with you, I was not a very dedicated eBay person in June. And I will tell you more about that after all these clips. So if you stick around at the end, I will give you the statistics, how much I made, how much I listed, so on and so forth. So here you go. This is a little game in a tin. It's called Yachting. And I've had this listed at least two years. Uh, it's kind of a rare game from 2004. <coughs> and it's in this little tin here. Um, and then this is this is all there is to it. Just these two different die and then this wooden board which stays in the tin. It doesn't come out. <coughs> Excuse me. The directions are on the inside of the lid. And the game um, on the back, there's a little damage to the label there. It's kind of was torn with some tape. And so, anyways, I listed this. It's kind of like new. And I sold it for $16.25. This is a unique mascara. A while back, I got a whole bunch of unique cosmetics, brand new. From the Goodwill. I actually have a video where I'm unpackaging all of those, but this one is missing the end of the box. But this is a maroon mascara, and I sold this for $18.99. Okay, now this this is some sort of magnetic cube. It's made by a company, and I probably am not going to say it correctly, but it's Shashbo. Um, but it's a magnetic cube and you can open it and um, make all different types of shapes with it. And there are different patterns. You can kind of see there's some different design patterns. Um, this does not include instructions. It's just the cube. And um, I have sold two of these before. There are certain uh, colorways or pattern designs that are more valuable than others or more desirable. So I think that people might collect these. Um, anyway, so I saw a bag at the Goodwill with this in it and something else. And I thought, oh, yeah, I'll pick that up. I know people are interested in those. So this I sold for $14.25. This is a hardcover pre-owned book, Stir Up the Gifts. Um, it's got the dust jacket. It <clears throat> is used, but it's in very nice condition. And... This book I sold for $17.55. So this is a inflatable tent that it's an inflatable play tent. It's by Discovery Toys. This is like the carrying case that it comes in. Um, and this, there's kind of a unique story with this. Here is what it actually looks like. This is the original box. I just printed this not printed it I found this online and used it as one of my photos um, and I said that you know this was used didn't include the box did not include the um, instructions it doesn't come with the fan originally it still doesn't have the fan um, so anyways I bought something at a yard sale and it was like 
this fabric ball pit and bag of balls and it was kind of like a tenty material um, or maybe this isn't tenty um, but a nylon I guess material like this bought that I forget how much I paid for it wasn't much brought it home put it together and lo and behold also in the bag was this and so my children used it for a few years they still enjoy it but um, I don't really like having the box fan running and though there's like a mesh like protective mesh between where you attach this to the box fan I just don't really like my kids playing around the box fan at all even the back side of the box fan anyways I was like oh, I think I think maybe I'll get rid of this so I listed this online and it sold very quickly um, listed it for $16.25 so this is a pre-owned owned but unused study guide manhood restored um it's got a little edge wear but it is like new i would say um you can see a little rubbing there and this actually maybe not that might be just part of the speckled look um this i sold for ten dollars this book um along with a lot of the other books that i sell were leftovers from a book sale um, that were, they were just done with and um, were going to end up in a dumpster. So um, I went through those and picked out, you know, what was sellable that I could make a little profit of and save them from the dumpster. Um, so that's where this book came from. This is a vintage hardcover book. It's the large print gift edition somebody loves you and the this book is i believe poems yeah different poems has some wear but still very usable and look it was gifted in 1981 so it has been around a while still has the dust jacket and this i sold for 12.45 this is a spool of yarn this is a hair on cotton cakes and it is a beautiful um, colorway um, it's also very soft not like your typical cotton um, this is how many ounces here 8.8 .8 ounces it's a pretty large amount um, and this I actually sold another one of these recently but a different colorway I picked up these two together in a bag at the Goodwill um, brand new never opened there is a little tear here um, but looks good uh, this I sold for $21.99 then I also have this study guide this is 10 women of the Bible by Max Lucado this is uh, there's 10 lessons in here for groups for individuals and this looks very good it was pre-owned but unused and this I sold for $12.55. So this is a little pot holder. Um, it is handmade. It's a cute little strawberry design um, and then quilted. And you can hear, I don't know if you can hear, but you can hear um, the special batting inside that's for using with hot items. I thought this was really cute, really well made. Um, shows no signs of wear whatsoever. I got this at a thrift store for 10 cents and I debated keeping it for myself, but I decided to list it and it sold really quickly. So I sold this for 1025. I'm not going to make a ton of money on it, but, um, it was, it was easy and quick and apparently pretty desirable. So this is a huge Steedman's Medical Dictionary, 26th edition. It is pre-owned and hardcover. It does have a little wear, but it's still got a ton of life in it. Um, this I have had listed for a very long time. I got it for free, um, and I actually recently thought about getting rid of it. Um, but then it sold. So I sold this for $12.55. It's not a ton of money. Um, you can see there's even a little damage here to it. Um, but 
I will make a little bit off of this. It is going to cost a good bit to ship this. I will ship it media mail. And I'll come back and I'll tell you exactly how much this cost me to mail and, and what the fees are exactly. I know at the end of the video, I always give you like the grand sum on, um, you know, the statistics on everything. Um, you know, like average sale profit and so on and so forth. But this particular one, I thought might be interesting for you to see. <laughs> I'm not going to make very much, but I will make a little. And um, for me, I'm pleased with that, especially with something that was free and, you know, was, you know, cost me nothing. Okay, so here is that book. I ended up putting it in a box. I like to put large books in boxes. I just don't want things to get where they're going damaged. And you can see, here's the weight. It is seven pounds, two ounces, pretty heavy. And I'm gonna show you here. So media mail is what maybe you would necessarily go with immediately because um, generally it's cheapest. So it's gonna be 932 to mail this to this destination. However, USPS Ground Advantage, which is the new thing that replaces uh, a couple other things like first class package and so on and so forth. It is 912, okay? So a little less. It's also going to come with insurance up to $100, and it's going to be there sooner. It's gonna be there within four days instead of within seven. So I'm gonna go with the, um, oops, the Ground Advantage. And um, I've been really pleased with using Ground Advantage. I've even, I even did have a claim um, and that went through really easily. Um, so I'm going to use that this time and save myself a little bit of money. Okay. And so here you can see, um, everything for that book that, um, eBay collected 1343 because they collected the tax on top of it. Then they took the tax back out. These are the fees to eBay. This was my shipping cost. This is my profit. So hardly anything, but like I said, it was free. I reused a box and I reused packing material. I'm okay with that. I'm happy that it's getting into the hands of someone who wants it. Um, it didn't go into a landfill. Um, and I, you know, I made a little bit of money. So you may think like when you hear that, that, that total, the 1255, um, you may think that, you know, I would, I would make a lot more off of that. A uh, shipping is a large portion of it. But the, um, the eBay fees are pretty high as well. Um, actually, for books, when you sell books, they're one of the highest levels of fees. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's not always as much as you think, um, depending on the item. This is a pre-owned study guide, uh, pre-owned but unused, by Dr. David Jeremiah. Um, how to be happy according to Jesus. Looks pretty good. And this I sold for $9.89. And then I also have, this is a little miniature kit collection that you can, well, it's a miniature furniture kit. It contains the unfinished precision machine wood parts and dial. Um, basically everything to make this grandfather clock here, English grandfather clock had this listed for a while and it's kind of a unique item like you know I don't think there's a lot of people necessarily looking for this and here we have another language I think this was made in Germany yep see made in Germany I've had it listed for a while I think I paid a dollar for it um and I've now sold it it's brand new inside still in the original packaging a little wear to the packaging but unused unopened inside and this I sold for $39.99. This is a little card set, uh, Promises from God for Women. They're, they're little cards with inspiration written on them. Well, it says 101 blessings to brighten your day and uplift your soul. Still shrink wrapped, um, brand new. I sold this for $11. This is Elf Skin Hemp Cannabis Sativa. All the fields facial oil with hemp seed oil and I don't know what. <laughs> um, I've had this a little while. This came from Wholesale Ninjas. Um, anyhow, I sold this for sixteen thirty-five. 
This is a unique lucrative lip gloss in shade Lethal. And this I sold for how much did I sell it for? Lethal. $16.75. And then I also sold a lucrative lip gloss in shade Lunar. And this I sold for $18.99. And lastly, a unique Moodstruck Precision Dip and Draw Eyeliner. And this is in shade, I think it was Prominent. Yes, Prominent. Um, and this I sold for $15. So this is the first um, unique items I've sold in a little while. I also sold a tube lipstick, like your regular standard lipstick. But we are about to have a heat wave and where this lipstick would be going is also going to be experiencing the heat wave. And I thought, I better reach out to them and see see what their thoughts are on this. So um, I'm holding off on shipping that till I hear back from them. Um, so we have these three here. So this is a t-shirt. It's a Johnny Cash t-shirt. It's brand new, size 3X, Johnny Cash. Um, and this I sold for $12. Got a bunch of t-shirts at Walmart on clearance for a dollar a piece. And this is one of them. Um, so I'm not going to make a ton of money, but I'm going to make, you know, a decent amount on this. Here we have, it's a perfume set, limited edition Viva Las Vegas Suite. There's four items in here. Brand new, still sealed. There's lotion, fragrance mit, mist, <laughs> perfume, and shower gel. And I can't remember if I paid $1.99 or $2.99 for this. It wasn't much. I did have it listed for a while. Um, trying to think how long. Probably at least a year. Um, and this sold for $25.99. Um, so my, my scenery here, my background, lots of boxes. If you've watched any of my eBay videos in the past, I've mentioned that I'm moving out of this disaster office room and you can see I'm, my shelves are unpacking. <laughs> my office slash new school room slash eBay area is finally complete. So soon you're going to have a new, some new scenery. So these are a little Ness Frio, I think that's how you pronounce it, and um, from the Pixie collection. These are little espresso cups, and you can kind of see the embossing on the bottom with the brand and the information, but it's hard to see. I also have a set of gold ones of these, and it's much easier to read. But anyhow, there's eight espresso cups here. Um, they're the black and silver design. These are pre-owned, but in very good condition. And these I got at the Goodwill. I've had them a little while, not a super long time. Um, and I just happened to notice them as I was walking through like the glassware section, which I don't pay a whole lot of attention to, but these caught my eye. So there was three stacks of four. I said I had the I have the gold as well and um so I decided to list all the black together and I can't remember if a stack of four was $2.99 or $3.99 but I picked them up um and I did sell these now and they sold for $79.99 four boxes of next allergy indoor and outdoor this is a 24 hour relief there are 30 tablets uh, these were from Wholesale Ninjas, um, and, I, and I just sold them. I haven't bought from Wholesale Ninjas in a while, and I don't think I'm going to. Um, I'm not going to make, actually, I'm definitely not going to make anything on these. I will lose a little bit on these, but I will recoup some of my overall investment. And um, Wholesale Ninja items seem to be, they kind of balance out, it seems like in the grand scheme of things between what I purchase and what I sell and what I keep and what is damaged. But uh, the prices have gone up and so I don't think I'll be getting any more boxes in the near future unless 
something happens or I change my mind. Uh, but I sold the four of these for $10. We have a unique liquid lipstick splash. This is in shade Sunny. And this I sold for $24.99. And a collection of two books. So there's Model Soldiers in Color, hardcover, vintage book, and then the Encyclopedia of Military Modeling, another hardcover book. This one has a dust jacket. You can see there is a little wear to these. They've been around. Um, and I have had these listed a while. I would say at least two maybe three years um and so I'm, I'm happy to have sold them i won't make a ton of money but they didn't cost me anything they were salvaged from what would have been dumpster books uh, and these i sold for 15.55 together and then i also have another book this is another vintage book you can see this one has some wear to it it is um a paperback and I'm not sure what the year is on it. 1965. 52 evangelistic illustrations and uh, this book I sold for $14. This is called Magnet School. It's by Parents. I think it was by maybe Parents Magazine. You can see there's a little damage to the tin case here. It is complete and it's in pretty good condition. This is, I don't know the exact date on this, but it's been around a while. My mother had this, though I don't remember playing with it as children. Um, and then my kids had it and they didn't really play with it a whole lot. And I was kind of purging things. So, so you have all the letters and you have some numbers or through, I forget what number. And then there's these kind of cards. They're kind of like a cardboard, thicker card that you can put the letter on. So that's Aunt. And you can see their parents. So it is complete. It is in good condition um, for the age and for it being a toy. A little cosmetic damage to the tin, but otherwise still very functional. And this is sold for $35.99. This is a book from 1926. So it's almost an antique. Uh, the Lost Book of the Bible and the Forgotten Books of Eden. Um, pretty good condition for the age it's in. You can see there's a old address label and some old pricing, a little bit of writing there. And this book I sold for $59.99. This is a Stampin' Up! Project Life Day-to-Day. -day. Um, and this I got in a bag of stuff from the Goodwill. I had a bunch of other things in it. Um, didn't buy it necessarily for this, but just so happened that it was in there. And it's it's new. It's unused. This the stamps are still like all attached to each other. Um, and this I sold for $16.99. This is a McCall's costume pattern for Raggedy Ann and Andy. Uh, this was pre-owned but uncut. It's from 1989. Um, and this I sold for $10.55. This is an English and Action workbook, level two. There's also a CD, it's unused, never removed from the packet. Um, notebook has never been, workbook has never been written in. And this I sold for $13. This is a David Jeremiah study guide, The Jesus You May Not Know. And this is unused, but pre-owned, it looks very nice. And this I sold for $13.75. This is a pre-owned paperback by Dale Crawley Jr. He's a radio evangelist and Bible teacher. I don't think I've heard of him, but it's called On the Wrong Side of Just About Everything But Right About It All. Kind of sounds kind of interesting. And I've had this long enough that I don't even remember listing it. I, that doesn't mean it's been super, super long, but 
I would say it's at least been six months. That's in pretty good condition. And this I sold for $11.15. Okay, so you just saw all the footage of everything that I sold in the month of June. Now, in the month of June, I was on vacation for a week. I had um, just a lot of stuff going on with things outdoors, things I was working on, just a lot of life stuff. And I did not do much with eBay. So in the month of June, I only had 12 listings. That's all I created. I mean, I put very, very, very little time into my eBay business for June. Um, I had 34 sales, which I'm pleased with for the amount of, um, you know, effort I put in. I did also have one return. Um, there was a little doggy backpack thing. Um, it didn't work for the purchaser's dog. The dog just didn't, it was, the dog was the right size. It just wasn't what she thought it would be. So she returned that. Um, so my sales, the profit from my sales. Now this is after eBay's fees, after my shipping fees, after my return. Uh, so my profit for my sales was $328.02. So then I divided that by 33 items because I did have that one return and I come up with my uh, profit per item. So I'm looking at $9.94 profit per item. So I'm pleased with that, um, you know, considering I really didn't put much effort in. Uh, it was mainly just revenue for the month of June for me. Um, I did have a few items that were from Wholesale Ninjas uh, that you probably saw as we discussed that. Now I am hoping to actually be able to put forth some energy into my eBay store in the month of July. I don't know how it's going to go uh, because right now I can tell you I'm behind filming this. Oh, do you see my dog Samson back there in the, <laughs> he's got his legs in the air. Is he? Let me see. <laughs> Those are his legs. Oh, this way. There they are. Um, I'm behind already. I haven't listed a single thing. And I am just now getting this video out. So I don't know what it's going to look like. But I do have a goal. I've been trying to get to 2,000 listed items in my store. And that is my goal for 2024. Will I get there? I have no idea. I'm still teetering around 1,400 active listings right now. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Tell me about your eBay stores uh, or what you sell or what you have to think about eBay. And I will talk to you again soon.